Hey everyone, welcome to the Criminology Course website. Today we're diving into the world of questioned document examination. So, let's get started. A questioned document is any written or printed item whose authenticity or origin is in doubt. This could be anything from a will, a contract, a check, or even a ransom note. When we say questioned, we're referring to any aspect of the document that might be in dispute. It could be the handwriting, the paper, the ink, the typewriting, or even the way the document was created or modified. Essentially, if there's any uncertainty about its legitimacy, it's a questioned document. Now you might be wondering, how is a disputed document different? Well, a disputed document is specifically one that is being challenged in a legal setting. It's a type of question document, but it has escalated to the point where its authenticity or validity is being formally contested in court. For instance, a question document becomes a disputed document when someone claims that a signature on a contract was forged and takes that claim to court. So, essentially, all disputed documents are question documents, but not all question documents end up being disputed. Let's break this down with a quick example. Imagine you find a handwritten will in your late uncle's belongings. If you're unsure whether it's genuinely written by him or if someone else may have written it, that will is a question document. But if you take that will to court, claiming it's a forgery, it becomes a disputed document. Why does this distinction matter? Forensic document examiners need to know what they're dealing with to apply the right techniques and ensure justice is served. Examining question documents involves a range of methods, from handwriting analysis to ink dating to identifying alterations. When it comes to disputed documents, the stakes are higher because the findings could influence the outcome of legal proceedings. And that's a wrap on questioned versus disputed documents. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Criminology Course website, Facebook page and channel. Just click the icon below. Stay curious and see you next time on the Criminology Course website.